Hey guys, welcome to another video. Come pack my hospital bag with me. I am currently 37 weeks and 4 days. Meaning the baby's already full term and I could give birth anytime soon. So the due date that the hospital gives you is a 40 weeks. But only a minimum amount of people give birth on their due date. So it's either they go early or they go later. It's good to have your hospital bag packed. There are a lot of videos out there about what to pack in your hospital bag but my hospital actually gave me a list what they want me to pack so I'm just gonna go by that and then just incorporate some of the stuff that I've seen online and hopefully this will get me through as well as the baby through our hospital stay first things first what I have here are snacks so I have plenty of snacks that I enjoy. Next, I have got here toiletries. So just the very basic one, got shampoo. I have got Le Labo, another 13 shower gel and a moisturizer. Also a face wash, some touch of face wash. I packed like a really fancy gel lotion, shower gel because I feel like I just wanted to have that sort of like pick me up kind of thing. Also, toothbrush and a toothpaste. I also packed a little bit of my vanity kit, which only has my lip balm, mon scented deodorant because I'm planning to breastfeed and I don't want the smell of the deodorant to be too strong for the baby. I have got some tinted sunscreen, a comb. A regular sunscreen, we got a lip balm, <laughs> a cheek tint, a moisturizer, a brow product, a tinted lip balm, a hair tie, and a mascara. So these ones are like the sample that I get when I buy makeup. So um, it's good because I would have something to use them for. Next thing I have here is some Birkenstock slippers. I got this one because it means that I could wear it in the shower as well as in the hospital room. Next in here is I've got a plastic bag for all my dirty clothes. I've got a couple of headbands, some cotton undies, breastfeeding bra. Um, I just got this one from I think Big W or somewhere. Nothing too fancy. Um, I like it because you just boom and then your nipples are exposed. And also I got black because I don't know it's just like no care. Free of care if it's black. Also I've got this. This one is maternity nursing dress. But hopefully it's still like loose on me when I give birth because or when you're recovering from pain, I think it's important to wear loose clothes. Yeah, comfortable day wear, sleep wear, which is what I've got here. I've got another loose dress. Also, I have got here a sleep wear, which is just a long sleeve and a pajamas. Two nursing shirts. I'll show you. So this one just go there and then you can nurse and then you can also nurse here like that <clears throat> so I've got two of these and then just one regular shirt maternity joggers because I think I want something that is very comfortable around the tummy and then also my going home outfit which is just a pair of joggers and then a maybe one of the nursing shirts and then this a nursing jumper because I think it will be cold around this time and also we've got three pairs of socks I just got the normal ones none grip none nothing because I feel like the hospital floors would be dirty and I don't want my socks to be like on the floor and then onto my bed so I'm just planning on using the normal socks and then Birkenstock that I packed also, I packed two robes, one that is 
very plush and very squishy and then the other one is if I'm feeling hot so just a regular silk robe I am also going to pack some maternity pads and disposable undies um, these are only just in case they put cotton and undies but a lot of people say that they don't feel like wearing any undies postpartum because it's just so uncomfortable so I'm just wearing disposable ones they might have some disposable undies in the hospital so these are just my backups so as you could see this would not last me two days but hopefully the hospital will have some okay moving on I have here my fan I know it's gonna be cold but we don't know if we're gonna have some hot flushes or whatever and we don't know how hot it is in the hospital so I'm just packing that just in case lastly I've got this uh, my essential skip so in here I have some witch hazel wipes got vitamin C some hydrolyte this is Elevit breastfeeding, some medications, some Nurofen Panadol, Movicol, <laughs> stool softeners, and some mint. I know that I'll be in the hospital, but I think it's just for my own personal sanity to just bring these ones just so I know that I could readily get them if you know like the nurse is not available, the midwives are not available, so I could just easily do it for myself also got some disposable nipple pads as well as some breast discs because my nipples might become sore from bre breastfeeding and also I have here some peri spray for if ever we've got some tears down there last but definitely not the least is our tens machine it has two batteries the leads and then the actual tense machine um, so it is a good idea that when you start feeling the contractions that you put this like straight away because the earlier you put it the more efficient it will become if you don't know much about tense machine it is like a sort of pain management for labor if you've had a back pain before you would and you went to the physio that's like the dry needles that goes into your back like there's a lead and then the cord and then it will send signals into your back and then it stimulates the release of some pain control hormones in your body but yeah that's it for my for the mama <laughs> soon to be mama there you go let's move on to the baba for the baby, I have some blankets. Um, I have two plush and then two swaddle blankets, muesli cloths, some clothes. So I have here one, two, three, four sets of clothing. Um, that is newborn. A wool beanie because it might be cold there. I have big kiss. <laughs> I don't know if you're Filipino, you would know what big kiss is. And then some face washers. And then also some socks and mittens. Okay, I also have this baby journal. This was gifted by Al Shell. Thank you so, so much. And I think, you know, like if I'm just in the hospital, I would just, I don't know, just fill this one out just to keep me entertained. Nappies. I'm just bringing some samples because I know that the hospital would already have this so I'm just having this as a backup we have some wipes and then other accessories include some soothers hair and body wash some eye wipes a nail trimmer because apparently babies come out with long nails I don't want her to scratch her face and then her name <laughs> surprise mo na ano name mo baby uh, what else do I need to include here let's check the list 
Four singlets, four row suits, two hats, preferably one woolen, four bunny rugs, nappy wipes, newborn disposable baby shampoo, and face washers. That's it. Some extra things I'd like to bring are, um, I want to bring my own blanket, a nursing pillow, as well as a pillow. I don't know about you, but I just know that the hospital pillows are uncomfortable. Um, they tend to be flat, and so I just want to be as comfortable as I can while I'm in there. So I'm bringing my own pillow and my own nursing pillow because I want to... I just want to be successful in my breastfeeding journey and I feel like if you prepare for it then you're more highly likely to be successful than when you don't so and that's it thank you so so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it I am definitely excited and I know my husband is already excited to see baby moon hopefully she comes sooner rather than later but also, I don't want to rush it because I just wanted to enjoy the last weeks that I have this baby inside of me. Yeah, it's been a magical journey and if you guys have tips, pointers, or advice that you would like to give me, please don't forget to comment it down below. And if you have any more postpartum essentials, hospital bag essentials that I haven't got in here, please, please, please don't forget to comment it down below. So then I will read each and every single one of your comments. Thank you so, so much for watching this video and I hope you guys have a lovely day and until my next video. Bye now!